In this video, we are going to discuss about sleep system call and exit system call. First, let us see about sleep system call. It will keeps a running process in sleep state up to a specified time in seconds. So, if we want to keep a process in sleep state, up to a specified number of milliseconds then we can use the sleep system call so it allows a process to relinquish relinquish means to release the cpu and enter a sleep state for a set period so whenever sleep system call is executed then the corresponding process will be in sleep state up to a specified time in seconds. So at that time the CPU will be idle. Why? Because the process is in sleep state. So operating system will release the CPU from that process. So, CPU can be allocated to some other process during that uh, sleep time period. Now, let us see an example program. Here we have uh, hash include stdio.h. Why? Because we are using printer function. Printer function is available in stdio.h. Next, we have unistd.h. In this program, we are using fork system call sleep system call uh, these two system calls are available in unistd.h next to main function we have two variables called i comma pid next to pid equal to fork we know about fork it is useful in order to create a child process fork system call will returns zero if it is a child process Otherwise, it will return a positive number. So, let us see the logic. If PID double equal to 0. So, here fork system call is returning a value. If it is a child process, that value will be 0. So, PID will become 0. So, if PID double equal to 0, then we can say that it is a child process. So, child process will get executed. So, likewise, uh, we know that fork system call return two values 0 for the child process as well as not 0 for the parent process. So let us assume that fork system call is returning a not 0 value, a positive value, positive value for the parent process. Let it be 100. So now PID will become 100. 100 double equal to 0. False. So else block will get executed. So when this else block will get executed, this else block will get executed when it is a parent process. So here if body will be executed as well as else body will be executed. If body will be executed for parent process, else body will be executed. I'm sorry. If body will be executed for the child process, whereas else body will be executed for the parent process. So let us assume that initially fork system call return a value called zero. So zero means it is a child process. So now PID is 0. 0 double equal to 0. Yes, condition is true. So now child process will get executed. So this is the body of the child process. So first what will happen? Print of child process started. So that message will be printed. Here we are displaying the numbers from 0 to 10. But before displaying the number, we are using the sleep system call. Let us assume that we use as 5. So this 5 represents 5 seconds. So first, after 5 seconds, 0 will be printed. Next, in the next iteration, I will become 1. After 5 seconds, 1 will be printed. After 5 seconds, 2 will be printed. So likewise, we will get the output from 0 to 10. Next, after executing the for loop, this printout function will, will get executed. Child process ends. If body is executed, so else body won't execute. So this program will be executed one more time. We know that 
fork system call retains twice values. Next, let us assume that fork system call retains a positive number. Let that number is 100. So now 100 will be stored in PID. 100 double equal to 0. False. So else block will get executed. So what is the else block here? This is nothing but parent process code. So I am parent, parent process ends. So this is the body. Now let's execute this program. So already we have the program. So our name of the program is uh, sleep.h. So this is our program. Here we are using sleep of 1. So 1 means, 1 means after every 1 second, that value will be printed. That value will be printed. Now let us uh, compile the program. Yeah. Next to run the program. So if you see here, first parent process got executed. I am parent, pro parent process ends. Next to for every one second, we are getting the output. I equal to 6, I equal to 7, I equal to 8, I equal to 9. So child, child process started. Next this, pro this statement is child process ends. So our program got executed successfully. Now let us see the next system call that is exit system call. Exit system call is used in the operating system to terminate a process. So in order to terminate the process, we can use the exit system call. It specifies that the program has completed its execution and it is ready to be terminated. So when we can use exit system call, if all the operations on the program are over, so that means if the program has completed its execution, then we can use the exit system call. The exit system call can takes exit status code, which is a small integer value that the process returns to the operating system. So through exit system call, we have to pass an integer value. So that is nothing but status. Uh, so here, zero. Zero indicates that it is successful execution. Various non zero indicates that it is error condition. So, via exit system call, we can pass either zero or non zero. Zero means successful, successful execution, non zero means error condition. So, here we are using stdlib.h. Why? Because exit system call is available in stdlib.h. So, printf before exit. So, this message will be printed first. Next, after this. Uh, Statement we have pre exit of zero. What is zero? Successful termination. So whenever this statement is executed, then our program will get terminated. So we will get only uh, the, the message which is before the exit function. So before the exit system call, we, we have before exit. So only this message will be printed. After exit system call, we have after exit. This, this statement won't get displayed. Why? Because whenever exit system call is executed, then the program will be exited. The program will be terminated. Now, let us see our program. Pico exit.c. This is our program. So, this is our program. Now, let us do the compilation. Compilation. Yes. Let us do the execution. So, if you see here, we got before exit. So, after that, we have exit system call. Whenever exit system call is executed, then the process, the program will be terminated. So this is about sleep and exit system call in operating system.